Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to tell you about the fake Elise. It looks like this. It's real, and yes, I wrote it. So, why would I do such a thing? There's already a real Elise, and Beethoven wrote it. In fact, it's called the Fair Elise. Well, truth is, I already knew that it's one of the most popular pieces of music ever, so I thought it would be a fun idea to write a piece of music that sounded just like it while also being quite different. You'll hear me use a keyboard to play these examples using piano samples, and they sound fine. But I actually wrote the fake Elise to be possible to play on my Moog synth. So that is what I'll play the piece on at the end of the video. One of the things that I think makes Beethoven piece popular is that the opening motif is used so often that it becomes an earworm. In other words, once you hear the piece, you hear the motif so often that you can't forget it. His one is like this. To make mine a bit different, I deliberately started in a different key, and I deliberately went in a different sort of direction. To use musical jargon for a moment, Beethoven used a trill, and I used a turn. Beethoven then does this kind of arpeggio figure. I didn't want to do anything like it, just because I wanted to be different. Here's what Beethoven did. Here's what I did. And after doing this again, but using different chords, just like Beethoven did, I got to the end of my first section. Here's what his sounds like. And here's what mine sounds like. So far, too easy. After that, Beethoven went into the relative major key, which for him was the key of C major. And so on. I decided to also go into the relative major, which for me is G, but to copy Beethoven in a different way, I transposed the beginning of the Moonlight Sonata into G major and used something a bit like that. and so on. Then I had to find a way to get back to the theme. I decided to borrow another trick from Beethoven that he uses later on in the release, a big downwards chromatic scale. People love that because it leads just magically back into the theme. So here's what I did. Finally, I'm going to have a go on the Moog synth. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.